This is a quick and easy guide on every way that you can get a blue card in Rust. I'll have timestamps in the description if you're looking for something specific, as well as a link to my Rust tutorials and guides playlist, where you'll find the previous video on every green card location in Rust. If you're just trying to get straight to the blue card, you can head over to the outpost, and there is a vending machine in the back over here where you can buy a blue card for 100 scrap. This is great if you're just trying to run monuments like water treatment or the Arctic research base or maybe small oil rig where you don't need a green card to get through the puzzle. There's only one other way to get a blue card without having green cards and fuses, and that's by fishing. If you gut catfish, salmon, small sharks, or orange roughies, you'll have a 20% chance of getting a blue card out of it. The rest of these locations are gonna require green card and fuses. First up being the harbor. There's two versions of the harbor and you'll find this one has a door with a fuse box on the inside of it. And then directly on the other side of the wall is a switch. Continuing in this direction over here, you'll find the green swipe and located inside will be your blue card on the table. The other harbor is completely different. You'll have to head over to this building and located on the first floor directly to our left will be the fuse box. And just to the right of that is the switch. You'll need to turn that on and head outside. Going up these stairs here, you'll find the green card swipe. And then the blue card is going to be to the left located on this table down here. The next location that you can find a blue card is the satellite dish. There's two sheds here. One of them right here has the fuse box in it and the other has the card swipe. So the one with the fallen over satellite dish is where you'll swipe the card. And then over here with the fully intact satellite dish is where you'll need to come put the fuse and turn the switch on. The fuse box is located inside of here. And then the switch is just outside on the back wall. And then I like to take a specific pathway to get across super easily. So if you just run up this ramp over here, there's a hole in the fence that you can crawl through. And then running over in this direction, there's like a ledge directly to our left right here. You can just face the wall and run across that without taking any fall damage. And then you can swipe the card. This box is going to be in your way. And then the blue card right here. Next up, we're going to be heading over to the sewer branch. This one has a jump puzzle in the middle down there, but we're going to be focused on the building up at the top. You want to bring a melee tool when you come over here because there's this wooden door and this respawns every time that the monument resets. So it's also a good indication as to whether or not you should run this or not. You'll find the fuse box in here and then to the left is a switch that you need to turn on. You've got a few ways that you can head down into the sewer system. There is a drop down over here and then there's also another drop down by the jump puzzle. I like to use this one at the bottom. I enter through this one so I can grab the boxes underneath the jump puzzle before I come swipe the card. Oh, also you'll need a torch or a flashlight. It's very dark in here. Sometimes I'll come over here with loot to recycle and I'll wait to make sure that door closes before I enter any further because it's pretty safe in here if you choose to use this as a recycling location. There's this main room with a staircase right here that you can run up to next to the recycler and there is where you'll find the blue card on the table. And that concludes every way to get a blue card in Rust, but before we move on to red cards, there's a few monuments you can use a blue card on that will not give you a red card that we should talk about before moving on. The first one is Large Oil Rig. This is a good monument to run at the beginning of wipes because you'll get meds and ammo, and if you do end up getting a blue card from fishing or the outpost, you can just head on over here and swipe a blue card without having a fuse, and then you'll get four military crates. So it's basically like a dome run, but on top of that, you get all the loot from the scientists too. The small oil rig, on the other hand, is not really worth it. If you do come over here and use it, you'll get one military crate, a green card, and an elite crate. The elite crate is kind of like a 50-50 chance on whether or not it's worth it or not. And to go any further into the locked crate, you need a red card. So this one's up to you if you want to waste a blue card or not. The blue card rooms in the underwater labs are kind of lackluster and not really worth it in my opinion. But I mean, if you got the extra cards laying around and you're running underwater labs, you should definitely do it. There's multiple types of blue swipes in the underwater labs, and this is a procedurally generated monument. So you're not always going to see the same thing on every server. And I would recommend doing a test run without bringing your cards just to see if there's even a blue room to begin with. And this covers all the blue swipes that don't give you a red card besides the military tunnels, which we're going to be covering in the red card video which you can find in the playlist on the screen right now, and it's also linked in the description. Leave a like if this video helped you out, and I'll see you over there.